Israel and Gaza militants traded heavy fire as hopes faded of securing a truce to end days of fighting that have killed dozens, all but one of them Palestinian. The violence has been met with international calls for de-escalation, with the European Union pushing for an immediate comprehensive ceasefire. Israel announced it was striking Islamic Jihad targets in the densely populated Palestinian territory, while journalists saw airstrikes hit Gaza City. Sirens' warning of incoming fire meanwhile rang out in Israeli communities close to the border with the Gaza Strip, as well as blaring in an Israeli settlement near Jerusalem in the occupied West Bank. Violence broke out when Israel killed three top members of the Islamic Jihad militant group, while subsequent strikes have killed at least three other senior figures. A high-ranking commander, Iyad al-Hassani, was killed in a strike on a Gaza City apartment, a spokesman for the group said. Hours earlier, Islamic Jihad said the latest rocket fire was a response to the assassinations and the continued aggression against the Palestinian people. The launches came after a rocket killed one civilian in the central Israeli city of Rehovot. At least 33 Palestinians have been killed, according to Gaza's health ministry, including militants but also children. Daily life in the coastal territory has largely come to a standstill, while Israel has told its citizens near Gaza to stay close to bomb shelters.